Namaste and welcome to Tridevi Chamunda Mandir in Denver, Colorado. I'm Yamajit. And first I want to apologize for the technical difficulties we've been having with uh, YouTube. Uh, we've lost our connection uh, twice, made two event uh, attempts at trying to uh, uh, do a live stream. And so um, right now I am uh, recording uh, this program on my computer and I'll upload it uh, to YouTube and those of you who are watching it now thank you so very much for your patience. Tonight is a double event. We're going to be honoring Ma, Bag Ma Domavati, the widow, and Ma Baglamuki, the destroyer of falsehoods. And we'll also be sharing uh, chapter seven and eight of the Tadala Tantra. So <laughs> maybe some of you caught the little bit of the broadcast before we cut out. But I was talking about how the first five Mahavidyas are associated with inner healing. And then the second group of five are how we take that healing and move it externally. We're sharing that divine mother energy to the surrounding world. We're really working with the divine mother in a co-creative manner. So we talked yesterday about how Ma Chinamasta is related to Seva, acts of selfless service. Ma Baglamuki is the elder teacher. So the elder who shares her experience that's been gained over the years. Talk a little bit about her symbolism. She's wearing a white sari, the traditional clothing of a widow. She's the Shakti without a Shiva, uh, being a widow. Uh, she's associated with crows, and crows are scavengers and carrion birds. This is associated with um, um, letting go of attachments, as is her winnowing basket, which is designed for uh, separating the husk from the rice. And when we go through this spiritual process, we very often reach a point where things that used to be important to us no longer have any meaning and we are ready to let them go. And finally, she's sitting upon a wagon with no draft animal. And so she is somebody who has gone through a long journey and now she's very content to be just where she is in the present moment. And then Madhumabhati represents, is really a, a wonderful patroness for those of us who are expressing our dharma, our purpose, through the legal system or through the political system. Um, these are two strong associations that she has. Uh, she's in a yellow sari, and yellow is her color, and it's customary to uh, offer things like these yellow roses and these bananas, uh, which we'll be doing. But she is shown with a club, and I like to think of that club as being like a judge's gavel. She is holding the tongue of a demon who represents falsehood, and she's ready to uh, dispatch that demon. And something to keep in mind is when the Divine Mother kills a demon, she's actually liberating and transforming that energy. So what that image of Baglamuki represents is the transformation of falsehood into truth. So Namaste, Jema Domavati, Jema Baglamuki. And let's go ahead and begin our puja. So I invite you to make yourself very comfortable in the space that you've chosen, sitting with a straight back, letting the shoulders drop away from the ears. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. Breathing away those concerns of past and future so like Madhumabhati, you can be content in the present moment. If 
focusing on the heart center and once again thinking of that part of your life that you're working on transforming during this Navaratri season. Maybe visualizing what it's like to have that issue healed or transformed. And as always, asking the Divine Mother for her guidance, for her healing, and for her assistance. And now bringing the palms of your hands together at heart center. Begin our practice by chanting. This time we're going to do the seed syllable Hrim, the seed syllable of the Divine Mother three times. Inhale. Pavitra Pavitru Vasarva Vistam Gatopiva Yashmare Pandarika Ksham Sabya Vyanta Sushi Om Pavitra Pavitru Vasarva Vistam Gatopiva Yashmare Pandarika Ksham Sabya Vyanta Sushi Om Pavitra Pavitru Vasarva Vistam Gatopiva Yashmare Pandarika Ksham Sabya Bianta Sushi. Om Gam Ganapataye Namo Nama. Jaganesha. Om Sri Guru Bio Nama. Jiguru. Om Namah Shivaya Om Kailase Patona Nama Om Namah Shivaya Om Jayanti Mangalakali Badrakali Kapalani Durga Shama Shivada Trisvasvada Namostute Jaya Tvam Devi Chamunde Jaya Bhutita Harani Jaya Sarvagate Devi Kalaratri Namostute Jemakali Jemakali Om Angrim Klim Chamundai Viche Om Angrim Klim Chamundai Viche Chamundai Viche Oh, my green gleam 
chamundae vice. O my green clean chamundae vice. O my green clean chamundae vice. just meditate quietly listening to the mantras jema om dum nama 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 
Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Om Dum Nama Feeling the power of Madhumavati Jema Dumavati. Ramab Baglamuki. Om Lurim Nama. 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 Om Lurim Nama 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 
Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Om Lurim Nama Breathing deeply and feeling the powers of Ma Bhaglamukhi and the powers of these mantras give you guidance and healing and the ability to transform that which is ready. Jima Bhagavuki So I invite you to keep your eyes closed, continue breathing deeply while I share the chapters from our scripture and let those words again guide your consciousness to where it needs to be at this time. The Tudala Tantra, Patala 7, Subtle Anatomy. Sri Devi said, the Devi Ketchari, the etheric meditation, is the ultimate energy, the essence of the great yoga. O oh, Sarasvara, where there can be no Siddhi, no divine powers, without knowledge of the yoga, this is true. Lord God of Gods, teach me about the center of the microcosm, in which at Hara are placed the seven islands, earth, and so forth. O Nata, in which at Haras are the seven oceans. Where is the steady thing, the great steady thing? What is their visible form in the microcosm, which exists in all people? Relating these things to your own fi finger measure, or angla, explain what prana is. And Sri Shiva said, O Devi, earth and the seven islands, the chakras, are situated in the muladhara, base of the spine. These seven are surrounded by seven oceans. Jambu Island is at the center. The outside this is the salt ocean. Beyond this is, Sal is Salmali Island, surrounded by the watery ocean. All living creatures on earth are placed in the Muladhara. Nine measures above this is prana. Twelve measures above this is the chief thing. Sri Devi said, Where are Butala and so forth in the microcosm and the macrocosm? Utala being the elements. O wealth giver, reveal their, their extent using those finger measures. And Sri Shiva said, Devasi, the thousand petaled lotus consisting of 900 million measures is above Utala, the elements. There are 1,000 measures between the tip of the great toe and the ankle. Between the ankle and the knee joint, there are 12,000 measures. Between the knee and the anus, there are 20,000 measures. Between the muladhara and the linga, 
are 4,000 measures. Between the linga and the navel center are 7,000 measures. Between the navel and the heart center, 8,000 measures. Between the heart and the throat center are 7,000 measures. Between Vishuddha in the throat and Agnya in the third eye are 11,000 measures. Between Agnya Chakra and the place where Shiva dwells are 10,000 measures. O goddess of the gods, it is said that 12,000 measures above this place of cessation is the place of cessation. The place of creation and dissolution is 1,000 measures above that. At the time of intercourse, the prana extends to six measures, while at the time of eating it extends to three measures. If a person breathes out only to one measure extent, he lives for 1,000 years. In due order, he becomes the possessor of sama, the sacred gesture, and having conquered death, he dwells on earth like Siambo, O Mahatesyani, she it, the, for this purpose I have revealed the Yoni Mudra. If a person steadily practices yoga using pranayama and the Yoni Mudra, he achieves equality of the vital breath. O Devi, conquering death, he is long lived and Shiva himself. I have spoken of the measures relating to all mankind. By equalizing exhalation and inhalation, a person goes to the realm of Kundalini. Sri Devi said, O Parameshvara, now relate to me the measures of the earthly realm. If you love me, I want to hear all about the positions of the seven heavens and where Shakti always dwells. And Sri Shiva said, All things dwell in the great chakra called Muladhara. The 72,000 nadis which radiate from this proceed two measures at a time. Sundari, Brahma, dwells with Dakini in the Muladhara, and Rakini and Vishnu in Svadhisthana, in the lower, in the lower abdomen. Rudra and Lakini are together in Manipura. O, da, o Devi, Kakini and Hara, both situated in the place of great sacrifice called Anahata, the heart. And in Vishuddha, the throat, Sadashiva. And Shakini eternally dwell, while Hakini and Parashiva are in Agni Chakra in the third eye. In the great lotus called Sarasrara, the crown of the head, is Supreme Shiva, whose body is the cosmos always united with great Kundalini. And Sri Devi said, Where in Muladhara is the great Pitta, the great sacred spot, Upanamishvara? Below Muladhara are the various underworlds. Lord, what are these? Dear one, Kamarupa is in the Mulad, Muladhara chakra. Jalandhara is in the heart. And Purnagiri is in the place above. Where then is Odhyana? And Sri Shiva said, Varanasi is in the center of the brow. Shvalanti is in the three eyes. Mayavati is in the mouth and Astapuri is in the throat. O Mahastani, Yodhya city is in the navel. Kanchi Pitta is in the region of the hips. Srihata is in the area of the back. Below the Muladhara, at the distance of 400 measures, is the famous Atala, and 400 measures below this is Sutala, Tala Tala is 400 measures below that, and 400 measures below that is Mata Mahatala. Patala is 200 measures below, and so too Rasatala. Devasye 
in the center of the underworlds, yet above them, is the Muladhara, the root. All relating to the essence of yoga has been related to you, O charming one. Never speak of this in front of strangers at the risk of losing your existence. Jema. Tala 8, the energy channels known as the Nadis. And Sri Devi said, Nadis, numbering 350 million, are spread throughout the body in due order. I wish to hear of them. Speak to me, O Lord. And Sri Shiva said, In the hairs and the pores are 350 million Nadis. O Sundari, Nadis are also situated in the heart and in the feet. There are 500,000 in the belly and in the anus. Within the heart and spreading throughout the limbs, there are 900,000. Devi, on all sides in the skin and all the joints of the body are 1,100,000 Nadis. There are five famous Nadis called Ida on the left, Pingla on the right, Shushumna in the center, Chitrini. The Brahmanadi in the fifth is at the center of Chitrini, adding Kuhu, Sankani, Gandhari, Hastijivaka, Nardini, and Nidra make them eleven. These are called the Nadis of the Shushumna, O Parameshvari. Sudevi said, O Paramishvara, in which of the eight holes, which of the seats of prana, are the five oceans, in which, at Haras, and in the center of which lotuses, are they situated? And Sri Shiva said, I am unable to speak of the full magnificence of the yoga lotuses. In the center of Muladhara lotus, at the, at the root, is the very alluring bija Lam. Seven oceans surround it. Sri Devi said, Mahadeva, tell me of the extent of the bindu, O Sankara, in due order, relating it to the yoga lotuses, tell me of it. And Sri Shiva said, the bindu is an infinitesimal atom although one has three parts and is all extensive. It resides in the center of the seven oceans, the seven islands and earth. The Bindu, the great center, is imperishable, the ultimate subtle supreme Shiva itself. I am unable to speak of the vast extent of this divine thing. Meditate on Brahmaloka, the realm of creation resting on the sound within, Brahma and Dakini live eternally. The letter La, the bij of earth, is therefore and the body of Shakti. In the center of the earth chakra, it is the mar marvelous Swayambud Linga. It is always encircled by Kundalini, serpents, coiled three and a half times. The mouth of Kundalini rests on the aperture of the Linga, and the prana flows through Ida and Pingla on the left and right, and always reside there. By attaining the one thousand pebbled lotus in the crown, one becomes united with the universe. If one has risen to the one thousand petals through the path of the Absolute, this is like expiration and inspiration creation and disillusion. In the center of the tips of the four petals, here eternally dwell Durga and Swayambhu, born of the body of Anahata. They divert themselves pleasure, pleasurably in different ways, always making love. Sri Devi said, how many kundalini are placed within the aperture of the linga. Tell me all of this knowledge relating to pure bliss, 
O Shurasvara. And Sri Shiva said, O Sundari, in the center of the linga is the great effulgence in the form of fire. The yoga and the vital airs cause the cosmic egg, the macrocosm, to, bur to burn. Sundari, this when she, Kundalini Devi, puts her mouth in the aperture of the earthly linga, she should be worshipped as Bindu Shakti, cause Bindu Shakti to rise using the renowned linga puja. Jema. Om Namah Shivaya. So continue to keep your eyes closed and breathe deeply. And just allow yourself to rest in stillness and in silence. Just silently witnessing anything that manifests from a safe, non-attached distance. Let things manifest, let things be, and let them dissolve.
deep and clearing breath, letting go of the meditation, and begin to bring your awareness back to your surroundings. Feel the sensation of your body seated where it is. Hear the sound of my voice and the bell. Listening to the words of our benedictions. Asava Mangala Mangaye Shiva Savada Sadake Sadanye Trambake Devi Naryane Namostute Om Shanti 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 Om Sana Bhavatu Sana Bhunaktu Saviryam Kadavava Hai Tejasvinava Dita Mastu Mavid Vidyava Hai Om Shanti 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 Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Slowly bring the palms of your hands together at your heart center, thanking the Divine Mother in all of her forms, knowing she is both within and without. Giving gratitude to yourself for taking part in this practice this evening. Slowly opening your eyes. And namaste. Blessings always. Jai Matadi. And thank you so very much. So thank you for watching this and taking part in it. And I look forward to you joining me tomorrow when we honor the night of the Mahavidya's Mahamatangi. Till then, have a wonderful night. Jema. Jema.